You've seen the Burj Khalifa, but right now, as you're watching this, engineers are building things that make even that look infinitesimal in comparison. A skyscraper designed to pierce the clouds, a tunnel being laid beneath the sea connecting two nations, a fusion reactor powerful enough to mimic the sun. These aren't blueprints, they're real, they're massive, and they're under construction right now. From a flood-fighting cathedral hidden beneath Tokyo to a floating city rising off the coast of South Korea, these are 10 mega projects shaping the future, and you won't believe some of them actually exist. First up, a skyscraper so tall it's designed to scrape the edge of space. This is the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia, and if it's completed, it'll become the tallest building on Earth, standing over a thousand meters tall. That's taller than three Eiffel Towers stacked on top of each other. Though construction was originally stalled for years, it restarted in 2023, and it's back in motion with a vengeance. The tower will have 167 floors, high-speed double-decker elevators, and a view radius so wide you can see the curvature of the Earth. Its foundation is built to handle coastal winds, desert heat, and seismic stress, all while supporting a vertical weight never before attempted at this scale. And if you're wondering why they're building this in the desert, it's part of Saudi Arabia's push to become a global hub for innovation, finance, and tourism. It's not just a tower, it's a statement. But that's just one way to go big. What about going down instead of up? Crossing this ocean used to take hours by ferry. Now they're building a tunnel that will let you drive under it in less than 10 minutes. The Fimarn Belt Tunnel, the longest immersed tunnel in the world, is connecting Denmark and Germany underwater. This thing stretches 18 kilometers across the Baltic Sea, but instead of boring underground, engineers are building massive concrete segments on land then sinking them into a trench dug into the ocean floor. Each segment is like a submarine garage weighing over 73,000 tons, more than the weight of the entire Colosseum in Rome. Inside the tunnel, a full four-lane highway, two electrified rail tracks, and emergency service corridors. It'll cut travel time between Copenhagen and Hamburg from five hours to just two and a half, transforming trade, tourism, and logistics across Europe. It's one of the boldest infrastructure plays on the planet, and it's just the beginning of what high-speed travel can look like. While Europe is tunneling under the sea, Japan is building something even wilder. The Chuo Shinkansen is a next-gen maglev train that floats on magnetic fields and travels at over 500 kilometers an hour. That's Tokyo to Nagoya in just 40 minutes, faster than flying. But this isn't just speed for speed's sake. Over 86% of the route is underground, cutting through mountains and going beneath cities to avoid earthquakes, floods, and surface congestion. Japan is using some of the most precise tunnel boring ever attempted, carving out dual tracks while navigating seismic zones with millimeter accuracy. The train will be fully electric, nearly silent, and emission-free, making one of the greenest high-speed systems in the world. But while Japan is floating trains through tunnels, another country is building a different kind of tunnel, one that's fighting the planet itself. Skyscrapers are one thing, but what if a city didn't go up, it went long? This is the line. A 170-kilometer linear city being carved out of the Saudi desert as part of the $500 billion Neom project. Two parallel megastructures 500 meters tall running side by side like a mirror across the landscape, designed to house 9 million people in a completely walkable, car-free environment. And yes, it's actually being built. Massive trenching, tunneling, and foundational work are already underway. Inside the line, everything – housing, schools, transit, parks – is stacked vertically. Residents can travel from end to end in 20 minutes using a high-speed underground train. The entire city will be powered by renewable energy with zero emissions and zero sprawl. Whether it succeeds or not, the line is already one of the most radical reimaginings of urban life ever attempted. While most projects on this list deal with roads, rails, and cities, this one is aiming to build a star. Meet Eater, the largest nuclear fusion experiment ever attempted located in southern France. Its goal? To recreate the same reaction that powers the sun, right here on Earth. If successful, ITER could generate clean, virtually unlimited energy by fusing hydrogen atoms at over 150 million degrees Celsius. The scale is staggering. Over 35 nations are collaborating, its central magnets are so powerful they can lift an aircraft carrier, and its parts are being shipped from all over the planet. As of 2025, it's over 75% built, and the moment it's turned on will mark one of the most important scientific milestones in human history. But while we're building stars in France, China is designing entire cities from scratch, and they look like science fiction. In China, they're not just building towers or trains, they're building an entire city from the ground up. This is Xiongyang New Area, a futuristic urban zone about 100 kilometers south of Beijing. Planned as a city of the future, Xiongyang will be fully smart, sustainable, and seamlessly integrated with AI systems, from traffic flow to building energy use. Everything is designed for autonomous vehicles, underground utilities, and green energy systems. Even more wild, they've banned speculative real estate purchases. 
because this isn't about profit, it's a government-planned prototype for future urban development. Roads are being poured, buildings are rising, and by 2035, it's expected to house over 2.5 million people. In Xiong'an, they're planning what the future could look like. In Dubai, they're building it, and fast. Most airports are built to handle millions of passengers. This one, hundreds of millions. Welcome to Al Maktoum International Airport in Dubai, the future largest airport on Earth. The current expansion aims to push capacity to a mind-blowing 260 million passengers per year. That's more than double the traffic of Atlanta's airport, the current number one. This project includes five parallel runways, satellite concourses and autonomous baggage systems, all powered by smart logistics and renewable energy. And it's not just a passenger hub. The freight side will be one of the largest cargo operations in the world, perfectly positioned between Asia, Europe, and Africa. The entire site is being designed as an aviation city, where flying is the economy. But while Dubai takes to the skies, Singapore is building something equally massive down at sea level. What Dubai is doing for airports, Singapore is doing for seaports. Meet the Tuaz Megaport, the largest fully automated port on Earth. When complete, it'll handle over 65 million shipping containers every year, all managed by AI-powered cranes, autonomous vehicles, and predictive logistics. Every container, crane, and ship is tracked in real time by a central nervous system, minimizing downtime and maximizing global throughput. But it's not just tech. The port is being built on reclaimed land, expanded in massive phases, and integrated directly with Singapore's national rail and road network. It's not just a port, it's like a robotic city that moves the global economy. Singapore is mastering global trade above ground, but Japan, it's engineering survival below it. It looks like a secret underground temple, but this is actually part of the world's largest flood prevention system. Welcome to Jikans. Buried beneath Tokyo suburbs, this enormous tunnel network is designed to protect the city from typhoons, rising seas, and flash floods. When storms hit, water is diverted into five massive silos, channeled through 6.5 kilometers of underground tunnels, and finally pumped into the Edo River at high speed. The largest chamber, nicknamed the Underground Temple, is over 25 meters tall and supported by 59 concrete pillars. And now it's getting upgrades. Japan is expanding the system's capacity and reach to adapt to climate change and more extreme weather. This isn't just infrastructure, it's a fortress built to defend one of the world's most densely populated cities. But what if instead of defending our cities from water, we just built new ones on top of it? Rising sea levels threaten millions of people around the world. So instead of fighting the ocean, what if we just built on top of it? That's the idea behind Oceanics Busan, the world's first prototype floating city. Backed by the UN and the South Korean government, this modular community will float off the coast of Busan, designed to adapt to rising tides, resist storms, and operate with zero emissions. Each platform holds homes, parks, farming areas, and energy systems, all built with sustainable materials and engineered for scalability. The goal? A blueprint for coastal cities around the world. Construction began in 2024 and the first residents could arrive as early as 2027. It's not just survival, it's a bold new way of living. And it's just one of many mega projects reshaping how we live, move, and survive on this planet. From tunnels beneath the ocean, to towers scraping the sky, to cities that float, move, and power themselves, these aren't just construction projects. They're signs of what humanity can do when we build with purpose, imagination, and scale. And this? This is just the beginning. Imagine what we'll be building in another 50 years. Drop a comment down below. I'd love to know what you think and what I can do to improve, or if I missed anything that you think should have been covered. And if you're into civil engineering, cities, and the future of infrastructure, hit the subscribe button. More stories like this are already in the works. Thanks for watching.